Williams Lake um, at a supplier's shop. Uh, this supplier uh, works with the mining industry and there are a lot of employees here that, that depend on the mining industry. That's typical of the mining industry, lots of indirect jobs and benefits. What we've done here today is that, that government has arranged for mining companies to defer uh, some of their power costs uh, and they're quite substantial, like Mount Pauly pays about a, a little over a um, million dollars a month for electricity. Gibraltar mine here out of Williams Lake pays about three million dollars a month for electricity. There are some mines in the province that pay a lot more than that. So defer those costs until such time as commodity prices come up and in the meantime these companies will have to pay interest on the amounts that they defer. Oh, it's a great announcement. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the provincial government, the minister and our MLA for making sure that uh, we have jobs in the Caribou and also helping us sustain our municipality. A huge number of workers in the Caribou are in the mining industry, either directly or indirectly. And it's, it's very much needed. It actually shows the government's doing what they can to help the mines, help the mining sector and, and everybody keep their doors open and stay afloat. Uh, the ability for government to step in and uh, do something meaningful implementing a program that it's going to help us uh, weather the storm is uh, going to have a tremendous impact in the communities and our ability to keep our operations viable. So it's a, it's a transaction between BC Hydro and the mining companies that's on commercial terms. The taxpayer is not going to foot the, the bill here, um, but it will help these mines stay open. And of course the point being that the people who work at those mines and everyone who depends uh, through a small business uh, on that mine will continue to be employed.